In South Australia I was born South Australia round Cape Horn. We're bound for South Australia. Haul away, you rolling king. Heave away, haul away. Haul away, you'll hear me sing. We're bound for South Australia. I'm Tam, and I live on Sydney's northern beaches. 2020 inspired me to be a little more creative in how I continue to travel. Who says you can't have adventures in your own backyard? Join me for a new video each week as we explore this beautiful part of the world. Hi everyone, I've got a few days off and I thought I would spend it exploring one of the regions of South Australia. I'm in York Peninsula. Now there's a bunch of things to do in York Peninsula. I've Googled the top five beaches in York Peninsula, plus a few extra that I thought was cool. I'm gonna put the list here. Let's see how much we can hit. Uh, there's a few lighthouses that are cool for tourist attractions, lots of flies. <laughs> and there's a national park right at the tip. And I went there a few years ago and I was basically driving through a stack of emus. So hopefully I can show you something cool like that this time as well. So if you've ever seen that York Peninsula on a map, you'll notice it looks like a giant foot. I'm in Port Wakefield at the moment, so I'm right on the top. I'm gonna try and go down the east coast, right to the tip and the toes, and then up through the west coast of York Peninsula. We'll see how much we can explore over the next few days. I'm gonna spend this whole video going through York Peninsula. Hope we have some fun. As I walked out one morning fair, heave away, haul away, was there I met Miss Nancy Blair. We're bound for South Australia. Okay, I'm in my first stop in York Peninsula and I'm in Ardrossan. So if we're talking legs here, I'm at the upper, upper back thigh. Now, when I came into Ardrossan, I got distracted and I took the beach road, so I didn't go into the town centre. I don't really know what's going on in this town. My mobile phone doesn't have service, so I can't Google. I'm at the beach, so I went down Jetty Road, and as you can assume, there's a jetty right at the end of it. I pulled in at the car park right by the jetty, but it's pretty full. Everyone's packed in like sardines there. I noticed around that there are a few other car parks, so I parked in the one just above the jetty. Now, I don't know if it's a secret car park, but it's not that busy and you get way better views. I'm in my van now, I've got the doors open, there's a beautiful breeze and I can see incredible views. So I recommend driving around and finding a better spot if you've got a van. I'm gonna take you on a bit of a tour around this area. So let's go stroll through the jetty and hopefully we can go find some cool stuff. Morning. I'm in a town called Edithburg. Now that's on the east coast of the York Peninsula, right at the bottom there. Now 
it's so peaceful here. I'm just sitting and enjoying the sunrise. This is what we got going on here. There's a jetty and the sun just peeking up over there. Now, as I pulled in last night, I saw that there are a lot of walks around Edithburg and that's what I'm gonna do today. I am going to go out and explore. They've actually got something here called Walk the York. So I think you can walk around the whole of the York Peninsula. They've got these trails that they've set up. I'll find out more info for you about it, but I'm gonna set out to do that today. I'm gonna to go uh, explore a bit and see what's around this area. But for now, I think I'm just going to hang out here and continue to enjoy the peaceful morning. more about this walk the York. It's a 500 kilometre walking trail and it goes from Port Wakefield right around the York Peninsula to Moonta Bay. There's signs all around. I'm actually coming up to one now. So let's see if I can show you. Walk the York right over here. Follow the signs and it'll lead you right around the York Peninsula. Now you can do short walks wherever you like or if you want to do the full trail there's trail maps located online and you can download them to plan your route. I'm going to put the website down below for you so you can find out more information here but whatever you want to do there's plenty of walking trails all around the York Peninsula. reach the end of the east coast here on the York Peninsula. I'm in a place called Sultana Point. It's a little community of houses. It's really quiet here. You actually have to drive 30 k's an hour down these streets so very peaceful and then this secret beach just reveals itself when you get over the sand dunes. It's really pretty here. Way long stretch of beach. There's barely anyone here. So quiet. The water is beautiful and it's really lovely to be here. Rain was coming down on the day that you left town. It's like the sky could tell. But I know that you'll be back someday. You had to go and find your place. And I had to let you. It didn't take you too long. Too hard. 
Okay, I made it to Marion Bay and that means we're at the toe. So we're at the western point of York Peninsula. There is a stunning beach here, you'll see it behind me. I've parked on the top of the headlands there and fantastic views all across the water. I'm walking to one of our top five beaches I mentioned earlier. I'm walking to Wilyama Beach. Now, I don't know what kind of beach that is, we'll find out soon, but I think with the wind up here, it's probably best used for a surfer's beach. So let's go check it out. How great was Marion Bay? I actually spent a little bit too much time here and I've run out of time for my next place, but it was well worth it. I actually think Marion Bay Beach was way better than Will Yama Beach. Actually, I don't know if that's Will Yama or Will Yama Beach, whatever it is. I think it was a little bit too windy for that beach. Surfers would probably think it's fantastic. So my next adventure, I'm in Innes National Park. Now I recommend you have at least a few hours left for the adventure here, or if not a whole day. You can actually go camping here. Uh, there's heaps of beaches and walking trails. You can walk the York here. Now in the York Peninsula, I'm at the very tip at the bottom. So I'm on the western side of the foot and that's right behind me here. It's beautiful, isn't it? Indus National Park is huge. There's beaches, there's campgrounds, there's lighthouses, there's even a ghost town. Now there's tons of wildlife here. I said last time I was here, I saw emus just running around. I'm not sure if we'll see them now. It looks pretty quiet. We'll see how far we can go and hopefully I can show you something cool. super hot out there. I just got word that there's emus up ahead so I'm going to drive up further and see if we can spot some. And fingers crossed I get some footage for you guys. South Australia I was born We're bound for South Australia Holloway 
your rolling king Heave away, haul away, haul away You'll hear me sing, we're bound for South Australia Haul away, your rolling king Heave away, haul away, haul away You'll hear me sing, we're bound for South Australia Good morning from the York Peninsula. I'm in Len Barker Reserve Campground. Now it's on the top of the foot on the York Peninsula Lake. It's a campground that you can book online. You need a permit to stay here. So I'll put the website below with all the information. It was $10 for overnight. And basically it looks out onto the ocean. Great spot. There are a few other campers around. Um, beautiful. You feel like you're in the middle of nowhere, but it was nice to be around with the other campers. So there I am. I was parked with ocean views. Got a beautiful sunrise this morning. Now I tested it before I came in yesterday. So I don't like driving my vans on unsealed roads. Most of these campgrounds, are, you have to get to them on pretty rough roads. Uh, my van's pretty beasty and I just don't want to get stuck on a road that I'm not familiar with. So before going to Marion Bay yesterday, I came past here just to check what, what the roads were like. When you're coming from York Highway, Google Maps will take you down Brutus Road. Now Brutus Road is exactly how it sounds. It is a Brutus of a road. So I would suggest not going down that road. Go to the coast and take a left at the end. And instead of a 25 minute drive to this campground, it'll be about a six minute drive. So way better. All right, today was planned to be my beach day. Now, as I said at the start of this video, I wanted to try and hit the top five beaches in the York Peninsula. Now, this list was created by some local Instagrammers in the area. When I actually researched these beaches, four out of five of them were in Innes National Park, and the fifth one was just alongside near Marion Bay. We saw that one yesterday, and I wasn't too impressed. The reason why I didn't even try to find the other ones in Innes in National Park is because I had limited time and all of the campsites there where the beaches are look like they're positioned near really rough roads and I wasn't confident taking my van down there. And I guess with the comparison of the beach that I saw near Marion Bay, uh, I wasn't confident that I was gonna see something so spectacular. So I'll leave you to judge if you ever visit York Peninsula to see if those beaches are really worth it. I've Googled some other beaches and I'm gonna try and hit them today. They're on the west coast um, on the, I guess the shin of the leg. So we're going to see what they look like. This morning when I woke up, it was blowing a gale and the sun has finally come out. So let's head to the beach and hopefully we can get some great views. about this beach and it is stunning. I don't know if I've ever seen water so clear in Australia. This is like aqua blue water. It's so beautiful here, really peaceful. You have to walk quite a while to get out to the water, but it's well worth it. The water is stunning.
morning. Today is my last day on the York Peninsula and I am in Moonta. So I arrived yesterday and I found a camping place. So it's the Moonta RV overnight stop area. And it's a beautiful little area that you can just pull up. You have to be self-contained here and they only ask for a donation at the Moonta Inter Information Center. They're the guys who run this place. Really lovely, really peaceful and a great spot to be. Now today the sun is out in full force so I'm really excited about that. Port Hughes is less than 10 minute drive away and there's a great beach down there. So I'm going to head down there, I'll show you some views uh, but most of all I'm going to enjoy my last few hours on the York Peninsula. to the beach and the sun is out and it's perfect weather for swimming. So I'm in Port Hughes and this is South Beach. So South Beach was one of the ones that were on my list from the beginning. Really glad I came here. It almost compares to Flaherty's Beach. The water is aqua blue and it's pretty clear so I'm excited to go in. Now I found out this morning that Moonta actually has its own beach and jetty as well so as a bonus for you I'm going to go to that beach and go explore that area. So this is the last stop on the York Peninsula and I just wanted to do a little bit of a wrap up of my travel here. So our first stop was Ardrossan and then we had Port Vincent. Now I didn't stay in these areas too long the weather wasn't great as well. Uh, I think if you're a keen fisherman these are the areas you want to be in all along the east coast are perfect for fishing uh, so that was really great then we were in Edithburg and I thought this was really pretty I think there's still spots for fishing here but what I liked about this it was really peaceful there were some lovely views there and some great hiking trails that beach at the tip was pretty lovely as well then we traveled on to Marion Bay I loved Marion Bay. I wish I could have stayed there further. I would recommend going there for at least a day, if not two, and explore the area. It was a great little beach community. The water was amazing and there was a lot to see in the area. Innes National Park was next and I'm really disappointed that I didn't have as much time as I wanted there. So I'll definitely head back to Innes National Park another time. Definitely have a few hours there. If not, choose to camp at one of the sites there and explore the area further. So then we traveled up north and I found that amazing beach, Flaherty's Beach. If you visit the York Peninsula, do not miss out on going to this beach. It was stunning. Up the coast, we headed to Moonta great spot to stay and now that I'm at these beaches the sun has come out and it's a perfect time to spend my last day in York Peninsula enjoying the sunshine and the ocean. So without further ado I'm going to head to the ocean. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this kind of unusual explore van life shots. Let me know what you thought about it in the comments below. I'd love to know if you like this kind of vlogging as opposed to what I normally do. See you next time.